From beautiful botanical gardens, and parks to an array of attractions and great restaurants, Buffalo, New York, offers visitors plenty to see and do. Take the kids to the zoo, explore the Buffalo Museum of Science and enjoy an array of activities offered in downtown Buffalo. Other top things to do in Buffalo, New York, include the Erie Basin Marina, the Frank Lloyd Wright's Darwin D. Martin House Complex, and Theodore Roosevelt Inaugural National Historic Site. In today's video let us have a look at top 10 best things to do in Buffalo, California. At number 10. Buffalo River History Tours, Buffalo, New York. Take a cruise through history with a fascinating 90-minute narrated tour along the Buffalo River. Buffalo River History Tours cruise the waterways of the river and provide narrated tours on the 48 Cedar River Queen, which include the Buffalo River City Tour and the Silo City Tour. Learn the story of the Erie Canal and admire the beautiful buildings of the city on the Buffalo River City Tour or see the nation's largest collection of standing grain elevators and find out more about the city's history as the greatest grain port in the world on the Silo City Tour. The River Queen can be rented for special functions and private events with full catering facilities. At number 9. Frank Lloyd Wright's Darwin D. Martin House, Buffalo, New York. World-renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright designed the Darwin D. Martin House Complex, which is considered to be one of his greatest works. Built in the early 20th century for Buffalo businessman Darwin D. Martin, the residential compound has been hailed as one of Wright's most famous works from his Prairie School era, and it received a National Historic Landmark status in 1986. Located at 125 Jewett Parkway and dedicated to preserving, interpreting, and promoting world-class architecture, the complex offers a variety of educational programs, youth workshops, and adult classes and lectures on architecture and design. At number 8. Buffalo Museum of Science, Buffalo, New York. The Buffalo Museum of Science is a popular science museum located near the Kensington Expressway. It is dedicated to the exploration of science, technology, and astronomy. Situated in a historic building in Buffalo's downtown district, the museum is home to a variety of exhibitions that cover subject matters such as astronomy, geology, biology, and space technology, including our marvelous Earth, Bug Works, and our place in space. The Buffalo Museum of Science is one of the best things to do in Buffalo with kids. The museum offers a range of workshops, classes, and educational programs, as well as field trips and guided tours to the museum, and a traveling outreach program. The museum has a cafe that serves freshly made snacks, light meals, and beverages. At number 7. Elmwood Village, Buffalo, New York. Located in central Buffalo, Elmwood Village is a friendly neighborhood situated between Elmwood Avenue and Delaware Avenue. It is home to a number of retail stores, businesses, restaurants, and popular attractions and historic buildings. If you are wondering what to do in Buffalo today, this is a great place to start exploring. The village features over 300 shops, coffee houses, cafes, and museums, including the Albright Knox Art Gallery, the Birchfield Penny Art Center, the H. H. Richardson Complex, and the historic Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church. With its range of boutiques, brand stores, and specialty shops, the Elmwood neighborhood is a shopper's paradise, and it also has a vibrant nightlife. At number 6. The Buffalo Transportation Pier Cerro Museum, Buffalo, New York. Located at the corner of Seneca Street and Michigan Avenue, the Buffalo Transportation Pier Cerro Museum pays homage to the rich transportation history of Western New York. Opened in 2001, the museum features an extensive collection of transportation memorabilia, historical artifacts, and vintage vehicles, including a 1903 Pier Stanhope. The museum also boasts a replica of the 1927 Buffalo filling station designed by renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright. The station was never built, however, Guided tours through the museum and its impressive collection by expert guides can be arranged. At number 5. Hotel Henry, Buffalo, New York. Hotel Henry is a charming urban resort set on 42 acres near Buffalo's downtown district, providing convenient access to top area attractions such as Delaware Park and the city's museum district. The full-service concept hotel, which is housed within the National Historic Landmark Richardson Olmsted campus, is connected to the beautiful Elmwood Village and set amidst a landscape of beautiful public parks and lakes. 88 guest rooms and suites infuse the campus historic architecture with modern flair, offering amenities such as flat-screen televisions, loner tablets, and complimentary wireless internet. Dining options range from the ingredient-focused 100 Acres restaurant to the vibrant lounge at Hotel Henry Cocktail Bar. At number 4. 
Birchfield Penny Art Center, Buffalo, New York. The Birchfield Penny Art Center is a museum exclusively dedicated to the art and artists of Western New York. The museum plays host to more than 30 major exhibitions a year, featuring works by various famed artists, including American watercolorist Charles E. Birchfield. The museum also offers a variety of educational programs and learning opportunities for the community in the form of outreach programs, workshops, classes, partnerships, and collaborations for students, educators, and adults. If you are looking for romantic date ideas, head to the Birchfield Penny Art Center. The museum's inviting cafe serves a tempting menu of delicious homemade soups, sandwiches, snacks, and desserts, as well as beer and wine, with a special brunch menu on Saturdays. The museum is open every day of the week and is fully wheelchair accessible. At number 3. The Buffalo Zoo, Buffalo, New York. Located in Delaware Park, the Buffalo Zoo is home to a diverse collection of wild and exotic animals, as well as over 320 different species of plants. Founded in 1875, the Buffalo Zoo is the third oldest zoo in the United States, and it serves as a source of conservation, recreation, and education for the people of Western New York. Major exhibits at the zoo include Sea Lion Cove, Rainforest Falls, Otter Creek, and the Special Children's Zoo, Heritage Farm. The Buffalo Zoo is one of the best things to do in Buffalo with kids. There is also a new exhibit called Arctic Edge, which has two polar bear enclosures with underwater viewings for guests. At number 2. Erie Basin Marina, Buffalo, New York. The Erie Basin Marina is a beautiful riverfront park and marina located on Buffalo's downtown waterfront. The marina, situated next to the Erie Canal Harbor, is home to a private marina, a public park, and gardens with a waterfront observation tower, restaurants, and a lovely winding waterfront path to stroll along. If you are wondering what to do in Buffalo on a sunny day, this is a beautiful place to visit. During the summer, the marina's glorious garden features a variety of flower collections and an award-winning rose garden set against the backdrop of the tranquil water and bobbing yachts and boats of the marina. During summer, the marina is packed with walkers, joggers, boaters, kayakers, and families enjoying the lovely surroundings and views. At number 1. Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens. The Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens are located in South Park in Buffalo, and are dedicated to inspiring and encouraging an appreciation for plant life. Designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, designer of New York's famous Central Park, the gardens were also created to provide a place for the public to enjoy an impressive living plant collection, as well as a community cultural institution and center for research and education. If you are looking for best romantic things to do in Buffalo, this is a great place to visit. The gardens are home to a beautiful tri-domed glass, wood, and steel conservatory designed by Lord and Burnham, and host a variety of exhibitions, educational programs, and events throughout the year. The gardens are open seven days a week and are fully handicapped accessible.